to the chapter motion and time let us perform an activity to observe the both translatory and rotatory motion click each tab to know more take a tennis ball place it on the surface of a table now push the ball with your finger observe the motion of the ball we observed that the ball moves from one place to another place on pushing it the ball moves from one place to the other place and all the particles of the ball also move along the direction of motion of the ball as we push the ball on the surface of a table hence the ball is said to be in a translatory motion similarly each particle of the ball moves in a circular path about a particular line when the ball rolls on the surface therefore it is in rotatory motion hence we can conclude that the ball possesses both translatory and rotatory motion at the same time